I think it's great that the um, the sort of anonymity of of all of it, it, it I think is important um, because that for me what it makes it it makes it more of a story or a uh, an, an allegory, I suppose, of of who we are as people um, and who other people are and the grave mistakes that we can make um, by con or from con conditioning as a child being uh, taught to hate someone who's different and um, being um, almost forced into uh, some species of hatred, and uh, so then, so then that battle then becomes uh, there is no specific country because it's every country, and the, the problem is uh, the problem is not far away from us; it's all around us. And, uh, so, yeah, uh, for me, representing the power, I suppose. Uh, was uh, very much about um, injustice um, and people who are in a position to uh, pervert justice and um, are essentially free to act as they as they want without any um, real. Um, because they have the badge, or because they have the power, or because they feel about power. You know? so, uh, Mark, Mark, you can definitely, he, 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 will, he will take whatever I'm saying and make it make sense. Because <laughs> he's much smarter than you. So, Mark. I don't, I don't believe there's any decision to be made to pull uh, to pull the, the ad. Um, from what I understand, it, you know, the, uh, there was a teaser with uh, uh, Jean Baptiste Mondino and, and, and I um, went out with the people from Dior to make a small film. Um, what was released was a teaser for that film. So a, a teaser obviously is is a, a very concentrated version of images. Um, and there were um, objections to the teaser um, of a small film. But the film has never been seen. Um, also to be to be uh, uh, there was, there was never, um, and how could there be, or how would there be, any dishonorable or, or um, the, the film was made with a great respect um, for um, the indigenous peoples, not just of America, but certainly of North America, the natives, but all over the world. It's, it's, um, it's a pity that. Uh, People jumped the gun um, and, and, and made these objections. However, their objections uh, are their objections. So, what, what's essentially what's happening now? We went first and foremost. We went to um, several nations um, of, the, of the Native American community with not only their um, cooperation and uh, their amazing help and their attention to detail. Um, LaDonna Harris, for one, um, who is my Comanche mother, um, has taken a lot of heat over this because she was, um, because she helped, uh, she and her organization have taken heat unnecessarily and very unfairly. So what we're doing now is myself, Jean-Baptiste Dior, um, 
um, Madonna and the, 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 all the beautiful uh, people of the Comanche, the, the Utes, the, all of the nations who did help us are going to have a sort of get together with um, the complainant, um, whoever has objected to this. Um, but I can, I can assure you, I can assure you, no one has any reason to go out to try to exploit. Um, it, 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 it's a, it was a film of, of made out of great respect and made with great respect and with love for for the Native American peoples to, to bring light to them. Um, they they haven't uh, let's say they haven't had the greatest amount of help uh, out of the United States government. Um, so I thought it was very. I thought the initial idea, I still think the idea is, is as pure as it uh, ever was. So we'll come to an agreement so that everyone's happy. Um, and I think that's uh, fair. Thank you. Uh, backstage, uh, they, they showed that Alice, he, uh, he throws knives <laughs> before every show. So that to me is fascinating in itself. I, could, I would go on the road just to watch him throw knives. <laughs> my picture, another picture. He does, he throws knives at the picture. Hey, throw a picture? No, he, well, he did one night. Yeah. <laughs> so, Johnny, you did your eyes? I, I, I sort of love the, you know, because communication, most communication, real communication, deep communication is done through the eyes. Um, I, I sort of love the fact that I, I was um, uh, rid of that luxury, you know, in a way, because taking the eyes away, um, of course, is, it's, it's unsettling to the, to the person you're, you're sitting across from. You can't get a, a, a pinch into what you're thinking. Um, I, I think what what I was looking for most in in Colonel Joel was um, um, a, 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 he that from where, wherever he came from, whatever his childhood, whatever his he was obviously um, he's broken. He's a shattered uh, toy. Um, but he's built uh, these very, very strong walls uh, and, 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 and kept that little boy at bay. And so now he's, he's almost just armor. He's just armor and intellect and strategy. Um, and he's most assuredly out to hurt. Um, because his rage is such um, that there's there's no injustice, um, there are no accidents with him. He's um, he's he, he will never be anything but what he is until he um, either has a major crack up or just turns to dust. But, um, I felt that he was deep down. He was he was probably a very very insecure um, human being who had built himself into this almost this machine. So for me, there was a kind of I found the idea of um, stillness a kind of an exercise in stillness. Very little movement. Um, very little expression, very little, um, very little. Uh, there was no, there was no question that I would, that the Joel would ask um, Mark's character that wasn't leading to something else, that, leading to the next bit as his mind was made up that he was going to crucify this man. And that was just what he wanted. And then in the end, as Mark and I spoke, and 
there's almost there's this silent realization that um, we're basically the same. We're essentially the same. He and his uh, and his care and his kindness and his uh, rescuing of the, of, of the girl and, and that. Well, you say it best, so he, I'll let him continue. <laughs> no, the, his, his, the, the rescue of... Mike, yeah, take just, the microphone. We, we both are victimizing the girl. We're both keeping her in the position of a victim. One by torturing her, one by rescuing her. Not, neither of us are offering her her own room, her own house. <laughs> maybe access to a doctor to help her with her illnesses. But we, we both are alive. Um, it's interesting, your question about Christianity and how, I'm just suddenly thinking how many of these atrocities towards indigenous people have been done in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, we don't hear about the Christian left, we hear about the Christian right and the, and the righteousness that unfortunately um, well, many different faiths in the world when they become very, very um, literal and orthodox and extremely righteous that you've got to watch out that there's someone coming out in their name like Colonel Joel, um, as both our English and French cultures know, know very well in our past. So, so unfortunately, we have to make a, a dress of that. Can I ask a question? Sure. Do you want to translate all this first? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, 